HTC officially announces the HTC One. The Ubuntu tablet operating system also gets official, and iOS 6.1.2 gets released with bug fixes. I'm Jaime Rivera, and you can bet I'm getting that HTC One in silver. And this is Pocket Now Daily. Aside from the obvious HTC launch, Canonical also launched their tablet version of Ubuntu and it was running on the Nexus 10 and it was running really well. Everything looked great. The operating system has a lot of compelling features like for example the fact that you can launch phone applications on the tablet operating system but different from what the way the iPad does it here you don't really need to bloat apps. They actually sideload at the right and you can still continue using tablet applications at the left. Kind of genius if you ask me. There is a lot of great things coming to this Ubuntu to operating system and we'll keep you posted when it reaches the Nexus 10 aside from other Nexus devices. And iOS 6.1.2 was launched but interesting enough it does seem that Apple did not address all of the bugs that were detected on the system. Apparently for example the exchange calendar sync problem was fixed but then again it does seem that Apple has not fixed the lock screen issue or at least we haven't received confirmation on that and we haven't actually been able to try it just yet but so far it does seem that iOS 6.1.2 is just a step into another version that will come out later and just for the record, it does seem that it doesn't hinder evasion one bit. You could still jailbreak your device, but unconfirmed, let us know in the comments down below. Now let's continue talking about Apple. The motherboard for the iPhone 5S or iPhone 6, whatever it's going to be called, has just been leaked. And apparently we will be getting a new A7 chip, not an A7X or anything like that. Most likely that will be for the next iPad. But what's cool about this processor is that aside from the fact that it's obviously much faster than the current one, it also brings twice the RAM. This time we will be getting two gigabytes. It's still not clear as to when we will be getting the next iPhone. Some people are speculating WWDC in June, but we'd like to think that it'll probably happen in the fall. We'll keep you posted. Now I'm sure you've noticed we have a ton of Microsoft Service Pro videos courtesy of Adam Lane, but the coolest one just aired right now and he shows us how to run BlueStacks on his Windows 8 Pro system, which is obviously the Surface Pro. And you'll notice that he can run pretty much any Android app on his system and it runs quite well. I believe that BlueStack is probably one of the most genius features that has come to Windows 8, but interesting enough it hasn't reached Windows RT. So hit the links in the description and follow all the instructions to get it loaded on your Surface Pro or Windows 8 system. And finally, for the hot news of the day, HTC has just officialized their HTC One for the United States and Europe coming up soon. This device is beautiful. It's probably one of the most beautiful devices we've seen on any operating system out there. Great design made fully of aluminum in black, white, and yes, there is a red version also out there, though we don't know if that device will be released at the same time, but it's got great specs, a 1080p display, and it's also got this ultra pixel camera, which is actually two four megapixel sensors. HTC was boasting a lot about the fact that it's not about megapixels and it just makes you wonder if they're right because re recently, I mean, retina displays are pretty much the common thing now with tablets and it just begs to wonder if these photos will look great on retina display tablets or computers. But that leads me to the question of the day. Are you waiting for the HTC One? Do you want to get one? I mean, to be honest with you, everybody in pocket now is surprised this is a beautiful phone and I want mine as silver, but leave us a comment down below. What do you think of the device? And if you want an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.